In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can animate your logo in Procreate for the iPad so that it has this rotating colorful ring going around it. Now the caveat here is that your logo will have to be a circle. So if it's not a circle, then place it in a circle and you'll be good to get started. So I'm gonna go back to my gallery and I'm going to open a new document and I'm gonna create a new square document. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create the gradient for the ring that goes around the logo. So I'm going to use two different colors for my gradient. I'm gonna start with the shade of, a shade of like a pinkish red, something like that. I'm gonna fill that in there. And then I'm gonna add a new layer on top of this and I'm gonna fill this with a different color. I'm gonna go with yellow for this one. You can use whatever colors you'd, you want, just make sure that they're colors that would work well together in a gradient. Now let me zoom out a little bit. Let me grab my selection tool and I want to make sure I have snapping enabled over here. So just make sure you have that option right there enabled. And now with snapping enabled, I could place this halfway through the top of the document like that. Now I will apply a Gaussian blur. So let me come over here to the adjustments menu and I'm looking for a Gaussian blur and I'm going to slide this over to the right like that. And there you go. Now we have a gradient. So let me deselect that. And I'm going to go back to my layers menu. I'm going to tap on this top layer right here and go to merge down so that this is now a single layer. And now I just need to crop a circle out of this. So let me grab my selection tool. Let me grab the ellipse selection option right here. And I want to tap and swipe to draw a circle, but I want to hold a tap with my other finger on the canvas. Let me retry that. Hold a tap on the other with my other finger while I'm doing that so it creates a perfectly round circle like that. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to invert the selection by tapping the invert button right there and then go to the actions menu and go to add and select cut. And there we go, now we have our circle. So let me take this, let me grab my selection tool, make sure that this is placed in the center of the canvas. This is very important. It needs to be directly in the center, vertically and horizontally. And now I will turn off the visibility of the background layer. So what I'm going to do now is I want to add some more contrast between the two colors of this gradient because in order to see the rotating ring around the logo at the end, there really needs to be a lot of contrast between these two colors. So I'm going to come over here to the adjustments menu. This part's optional, by the way. You don't necessarily have to do this. I'm just doing this because it's just going to make it look even better. I'm going to come over there to the, the HSL adjustment and I'm going to add some saturation to this. Maybe even adjust the brightness a little bit. That looks pretty good. And if you want to add some more contrast, you can come back over here and apply a curves adjustment. Just make sure to select gamma and I could take the bottom node over here and slide that to the right. And I could take this node up here and slide this to the left. And we get some more intensity between the uh, two colors of the gradient there. And let me bring that down a little bit. I think this looks good as it is, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. And now we are going to bring the logo into the document. So I have my logo opened in another document. I'm going to just copy the layer and go to copy. There we go. Come back over here into here. Let me zoom out a little bit. If you don't have a logo to paste in here, just create a new design, add a circle on top of this and add your own design in there if you want. That could work as well. I'm just going to go to the actions menu and go to paste. And let me scale this up a little bit. And there we go. And I want to place this, I want this directly in the canvas as well. Very important. It is super important that both of these circles are directly in the center of the canvas. If not, you're going to get this wonky where it's like offset as it rotates. Okay, so let me deselect that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a group of these two objects. So let's come over here to the layers menu and I'm going to swipe right on this so that I have both of these selected and I'll tap the group button over here so that now we have a group. So let me minimize this. And the way we're going to animate this is we're going to create lots of copies of this group right here. And for each copy, we're going to rotate that circle in the background ever so slightly. And then when we export this as a GIF, it's going to use each layer as the frame of the animation. And to help assist this process, to help us visualize it better, we can turn on the animation assistant. So let me come over here to the actions menu. I'll come over to canvas. And I want to select this option over here that says animation assist. If I turn that on, now it shows you the frames of the animation down here. So if I come back up here to my layers menu, I can swipe this to the left and go to duplicate. I can expand this group right here. I want to select the circle, come over here to the selection tool, and I want to tap this green node right there. Just tap it once and we're going to get this rotation box. I want to rotate this 15 degrees. And there we go. Now we can close out of it. And if I come, if I close out of this and come down here, you can see we now have two frames. And if I press the play button, you can see it's starting to 
oscillate between those two frames. But the way that we want to do this is we want this to rotate around the entire circle. So we're going to create, we're going to create lots of copies of that layer and rotate each one ever so slightly. So let me just repeat that previous process. I'm going to open the Layers menu. Let me collapse this group, slide it to the left, tap Duplicate, and then expand it, select the circle, and again, we're going to rotate it by 15 degrees again. There we go. Let me do that again. I'm going to rotate the next one by 15 degrees. And then it rotates even more. And all we have to do now is go through here and create a few more. We're going to repeat that process a few more times until we have a complete rotation going around uh, 360 degrees. Uh, a good way to tell how far you are is if you go to the Layers menu and you expand the menu right here, you can see where exactly that gradient is positioned. So I'm going to create a bunch of more copies of this until the circle is rotated all the way back around, and then I'll catch up with you when I'm finished with that. So one thing to keep in mind when you're creating copies of these layers is that this animation is going to be repeated over and over again. So uh, once you've rotated the circle all the way around back to its original position, you don't actually want that one. So let me turn off the visibility of this one. We just want the we, we just want it one step before its final rotation. And now if I come down here and press play, let me try that again. There we go. Now you can see the animated ring going around the logo. And if you want to change the speed, you can come over here to settings. Let me zoom out a little bit while I do this so you can so you can see it. And you can increase or decrease the frames per second. If I bring this up here, we have a really fast rotation. If I bring this down here, it gets a lot slower. So I've noticed for this animation, I think it was 25 I had it set to, or no, maybe it was 20. 20 seems to be good right there. And uh, if you want to export this as a usable file, what you could do now is, let me close out of this, let me pause the animation here. You can come over here to your Actions menu and go to Share, and you can export this as an animated GIF if you want. I noticed when I exported this as a GIF, the colors were off, so I tried Animated PNG instead, and it gave me much better results. So I would recommend exporting it as an animated PNG, and uh, I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can create animated rings going around your circular logo using Procreate for the iPad. As always, thanks for watching.